episode 59 boomer guitar sessions i'm rod and today we are breaking the box what does that mean well i take the question there is was a question that what advice would you give somebody who feels they are stuck in the pentatonic box rut so usually when they talk people talk about the pentatonic scale they talk about the minor pentatonic scale because it's kind of the more known <laughs> First thing I would tell them, that person, is first thing to do to break out of the pentatonic box rut, understand that you have the major pentatonic scale as well. So everything we're going to be doing today is going to be in the key of E major. So that is your major pentatonic. So how, what do we do in, in addition to that? Saying we get we exhaust everything we got in that, which is understandable. We don't just want to be playing that. Uh, first thing that I would do, the approach one, I would add extra notes to that pentatonic scale. So we have a major pentatonic here. <laughs> the extra notes, that's one. That's the other. So you add two notes per octave, and you have you have what is the major that that is the major scale. So that would sound like this. Two notes per octave so um anyway that's an easy way to get a major scale if you know already know the minor or the if you already know the major pentatonic scale adding those two notes is an easy an easy fingering we can add so the second thing would be experiment with chord tones my advice is also to experiment with chord tones when we say chord tones what we're dealing with is in the key of e Put those in our melody. All right, so chord tones. Now, this could be the easiest thing we could do is what we're going to do today is let's just figure out where the E chord tones are. So we could have like uh, that. That is your E triad. That is your E triad. That is your E triad. There's your E triad. Okay, so. approach this is kind of a off the cuff kind of thing that, that that i think is cool what i love about jazz musicians is their 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 finesse with chromaticism 
okay? So anything we can do to inject a little chromaticism into our playing is, I think, cool. And that's what approach number three is. So if we have uh, an E triad, which is this. If we approach each of those chord tones by a single half step. That gives us some, what am I doing here? Jazz musicians called them those enclosures. So um, here we go. So, and this is not uh, on the written lesson, this is, I'm, I'm just like kind of freestyling, playing E major down a single string, just being melodic with it, knowing where your notes are. Knowing that, like if I'm playing in the key of E major, the thing that you should know is that the key of E major is um, four sharps, F, C, G, and D. Okay, so what, what notes are sharp, what notes are natural, so. So that was the um, double stops. Now you can also do that double, kind of a double chromatic approach. So that would be. One last thing we can do, and there's thousands of things we can do, I'm sure, but um, one last approach is double stops in general. So when I say double stops, what we're talking about is two note, two note things. So if I have... So throwing double stops, these are six intervals. play melodies you want to come up with melodies and you listen to things I would I would pare it down I wouldn't be trying to play fast and uh, if you can't hear it don't play it is a, is a good mantra so anything that you can do in order to uh, these three things four things we have double stops we have we have chromaticism chord tones major scale so that if that doesn't break the box, I don't know what does. So that should open the doors wide open. So anyway, this is Rod, Boomer Guitar Sessions.
I'm enjoying this process. I hope you are too. Until next time, I will see you later and practice, practice, practice. Get out those jam tracks. See you later. Hi, this is Rod from Boomer Guitar Sessions. I personally wanted to thank you for being part of our community. If you like what we're doing here and you want to see more of it, please hit the like, subscribe, and share. And this helps me spread my musical messages to all over the world. Thank you. I appreciate you. And always remember, 